In this video we're going to learn how to render objects in the studio scene and change their materials. If you open up the library folder and in scenes you'll find studio setup. You can drag this into a viewport and hit open. OK and this is our studio setup. I'll show you what's going on here. We have our, our camera and we have a main light and two side lights. If you press C you'll go back to your camera and you go up here and hit render. Studio scene. So it renders quite quickly. Now, if you open up the library folder again and go to furniture, I've put seven pieces of furniture in here. This library will grow as we go along with the course. So you can choose a piece of furniture, we'll choose the sofa, and we'll get a new scene. And we can drag and drop and open. And here's our piece of furniture. So what we want to do is take this piece of furniture into the studio. To do this, we select it all, open up Copita, which we installed earlier, and hit copy. And close that. And we go back to our studio, open up Copita, and hit paste. Now if we use the middle mouse button, or we can use the truck camera button here, click that, click and drag to move our furniture into the camera position. If you press F3, you'll be able to see the furniture better. You also want to change from realistic to shaded. So this is what we'll see in our render. So let's hit render, see what we've got. So here's our render of our piece of furniture. This took 30 seconds. Now if we close this and open up the render setup menu, we can go to presets and we're going to go load. We're going to go to our library and presets. And here we have draft and final. Draft is what it is currently on. So if we double click on final and load, this will load up some final settings. So if we hit render, we'll start rendering with the final settings. This is going to take a lot longer. So I've paused and restarted the video here to save some time. This render took 4 minutes compared to the 30 seconds. Um, and I'll show you a quick comparison. A, this one B, and we zoom in. We can see the difference in quality, the shadows. You see along here the anti aliasing. So, when we do final renders, we want to load up the final studio settings. So, to do that, as before, you go to load and we go back to draft. This will be our 30 second renders. So, now they're loaded, you can quickly swap between draft and final. So now I'm going to show you how to change the materials. If we go back to our library and go into materials. You'll see I've set up nine materials in a scene. So these are the fabrics. And again, as we get on with the course, I'll add in more materials such as metals. So to load these into our scene, you want to open up the material editor, which is up here, or M on your keyboard. Go to get material. Here, go open material library and materials and open up the fabrics. If you right click just on the left of the thumbnails, you can display the material as large icons. This will show you better what we have here. So, if we load up a brown fabric by double clicking on it, we can also go to the next material and we'll open up a blue fabric for the pillows. We can now close this. We just select the sofa itself. If you press F4, you'll be able to see what you're selecting. So we'll select the sofa, click on the brown fabric, 
and assign material to selection. Then if we select the pillows, we'll select the blue fabric and assign material to selection. We can close our material editor and hit render and see what we get. So here's our render with the preview settings. This took 51 seconds. So if you're happy with the new materials on there, what we'll do is change to Studio Final, load that, and we'll hit render. So here's our final render. It took four and a half minutes. So only use the final settings when you're happy with what you've got in the preview. So to save this image, you go up here to save image. Choose where you want to save it. So we'll go up to output. Call this so far. If we type .jpg, we'll save as a JPEG. Now we want to make sure we put override and 2.2 in this dialog box. And we'll hit save. OK. So the reason for saving out at 2.2 is in the documentation. If you save out just one, it will save out really dark. So in the dialog box, save it 2.2 and save out like this. So let's take a look at our image. And here's our final image. So that was a quick video of how to bring objects into your studio and switch between the preview and final settings and change materials. To get access to the library, follow the link in the description.